Well, we've obtained video surveillance from a nearby apartment complex of that dog attack yesterday evening that left five people injured. It happened just before 530 at an apartment complex near the intersection of Atlantic Street and Lyons Avenue. Neighbors say that the owner of the pit bull was playing with the dog inside his apartment when it snapped. He was trying to get the dog to stop and asked for the neighbor's assistance. When he left, the dog got out of the apartment and attacked another dog that was walking across the street. This is video surveillance from the, cup, the complex next door. You can see several people trying to get control. Scraps and Spokane police came on scene and shot the dog after all other attempts were exhausted. A total of five people were injured. These attacks mark the third one in just one week. KXOY's Allie Norton is working for you tonight on why it ha it's happening so often and how it can be prevented. Allie? Aaron, local animal experts say that pit bulls are a really accessible dog and they oftentimes end up with people who don't properly train them. Now, that being said, they also say that if it does come down to it, there are warning signs the animal will show before it does bite. Eight people and one sheriff's canine, all recovering from three separate pit bull attacks this week. I have a slash mark gaping hole that was in my leg, had three stitches. Um, my hand is completely torn up, uh, stitch on the bottom of my wrist. James Betzinger was one of five people involved in last night's attack. On Monday, a sheriff's canine was attacked during a foot pursuit. And last Thursday, three people, including an eight-year-old girl, were also injured after police say neighborhood kids let out two pit bulls out of the backyard. His face was torn up, his arm was torn up, he had blood everywhere. So how can these incidents be prevented? Jamie McAtee, founder of Rescue for All, says it's all about the owner, showing the dog, no matter what breed, how to become a proper member of the family by teaching them what is acceptable and what isn't. And that's through positive reinforcement and, you know, never a heavy hand. It's always um, love and kindness. The saying goes, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But McCatty says that's not true, but adds it does take time. You have to learn the dog before and know the dog and build a level of trust with them prior to asking them to do something um, that you don't know how they're going to react. Like the Catty says she deals with all types of breeds and adds there are universal warning signs if they're about to bite. People don't understand that there are so many um, nonverbal cues that dogs will give you prior to a bite. Like if a dog growls at you, that's their warning saying, hey, I need a minute. They can't. And now, as far as last night's incident goes, Scraps is still investigating. The owner of the dog could be charged. However, Scraps says that because he was the first one that was bit, it could become a little tricky. Reporting on the Sky Deck, Allie Norton, KXLY4 News. And thanks for that, Allie. Time